sending data to a view. This is the backbone of the whole MVC story. We shall now learn what is sending data to a view and how to do that and why do we do that. You have seen web pages. This is the Google News page. News items appear. One, two, and so many of them. The objective of, if you ask me about 75 or I would sometimes say about 90 percent of the websites is to display data on the web page, present the data. After all web is information highway. The main objective is to display data on a page. And I'll call this page a view. We are going to learn how to mix data into this view. Data is going to come from a source of data which could be a database for example and other sources like uh, writing data just in time. The objective at the end of the day is spilling this data on the page. We shall be spending most of our time in learning this whole concept which is intricate and complex. How is it done actually? So why, why we do? Because it's our objective to display data on the page. But uh, how is it done? What is the root map? See this one. Till now you had a home controller. Inside it you add an action. And here inside this action you were writing those database queries and at the end of the day you were returning a string to the user. This string was displayed on the page. This is one way of showing data to the user. But nobody uses it in practice and it's hardly of any use. Because if the question is about displaying a string then there are other methods available in MVC. What we have to do is this. This is your action. Here some query is done. Instead of returning a string, instead of returning a string from here, you will return a view by passing this object into it. This object is loaded with data. and only single object can be passed. This data is obtained by querying a database and fully loaded with data. It is passed to the view. But what is this view story? I'll draw here. View is another file with extension CSHTML, C sharp HTML. This contains a lot of HTML written into it. 
and also a symbolic code here that will be used to display or uh, intertwine data into HTML. And where is the data coming? This object will be passed to this view. The properties on the object are known to us and we can then display each property on this page in the manner we learn a bit later. This view is, this object is passed to this view. And then you are writing return view obj. When you write this line view obj, then MVC automatically will pick up a suitable view. We'll learn how it picks up a suitable view and pass this obj into it and do the calculations present the combined HTML and returns back here so that it goes to the end user. This is the scheme that we'll use and it is used in MBC. Now there are a number of ways in which data can be passed to a view. We learn those three ways and also the ways of then handling how each type appears here and how each type is displayed here. Let me first of all write those ways. First is pass a single model object. Pass a single model object. You are passing one object. Second, pass a collection of model objects. So instead of passing one object, you are passing a collection. Third, pass a view model. These three scenarios are required to be learnt. Pass a single model object, pass a collection of model objects and pass a view model object. We shall deal with all three of them. We are starting with passing a single model object in today's exercise. We shall display the object and let us start right now. We created a basic MVC app. Right click on models, add a model class. Add class. See student data. And I'm adding quickly public string name get set public string roll number get set just quickly adding two properties to it name and roll number now my objective is to display an object of C student data on a view for that let me add controller as usual add home controller and click add now this is what I get I have always asked you to replace action string action result by string but this time we are not going to do it because we are going to return the HTML from a view now. Instead of returning the HTML from a string builder, we'll return the HTML from a view. 
let us first of all add the view right click anywhere anywhere inside this right click add view retain the name index so that this index name is same as the name of the action method you can keep different names and there is a method of linking to it automatically to it but if you keep the name same then many things become simplified so generally we should keep the name same however there are exceptions and we'll tell you later retain the name view engine is razor create a strongly typed view strongly typed view means it will add the data type of the data that you are passing to the view it will add one line at the starting right now i'm not tick marking it and i'll tell you what it would have added because i'll add it manually it is i leave it to you whether you always want to use this one or not if you want to see what is there tick mark it and it will give you a list of all the classes in your project but why is it not giving any because we have not yet compiled it once let us compile it once build and now i right click add view if i now pick strongly typed view it will show me my c student data and other classes are also there with which it shows but they are of hardly any relevance to us we could have selected it but i am not deliberately selecting it because i want to tell you manually how things work we are not creating a partial view it's a full view we'll talk about partial views later use a layout or master page by default a layout has already been added to you for by the visual studio we'll keep it blank and it will always be blank because we'll never mix master pages into it and uh, click add this page is added for you it contains a title for the page how this works we we'll learn it later right now just assume that by writing this line the heading or title of the page is fixed h2 is an h2 tag that puts index in a bolder font so this is our controller we just added a view and this is a view that has been added by the name index.cshtml where does it reach finally come to the views folder a home folder has been created automatically because this home means your home controller this this home and this index inside it that is this action method when i write return view 
MBC will automatically look for this index.cshtml file inside the views folder and inside a subfolder called home and then display its contents. Let us run it. The output should display index running it. So as expected this index has been displayed for us but it is just a static content that has been displayed. The bigger question is how to pass data. For that, let us first of all create an object of our model. We are passing a single model object. So we'll write C student data and right click to resolve because it is inside your models. C student data csd is equal to new c student data and we can set its properties here control space name is equal to hoven comma roll number is equal to roll 6754 whatever you want to write and format it You have to pass this CSD into this view. This CSD object is passed into view as an argument. This is how we are passing a single model object to our view. Let us collect it there coming here. I have to tell what is the data type of the data that is coming into this view. So I have to write at the rate small model. It should be small model don't write capital model. So what I have to pass? The data type of C student. It has to be through the fully qualified namespace path. Fully qualified dot C student data. No semicolon. This line just tells the data type of the data object that is coming into this. Remember one thing, single data object can only be sent to a view. You cannot write more than one data types here. Whatever you send you can only send one single object and what we are sending this time is one single object of a single model class. This. One object is one data object. See this one. This view accepts only one argument for data. You can't say that I'll create another object of some other class here. Let us say I call that obj2. I can't pass obj2 and csd together into view. csd this time represents an object of a single model. But CST alone can be passed into this. It's a different thing that CST may be made to contain a collection of objects or a class of a view model which will contain heterogeneous data. 
you have to pack or flatten all your data into one reference. You either put one object of a single model class, you put a collection object containing so many model objects, or you put one view model object which further contains more data. But everything should be flattened into one object that is a different thing that it further contains more data. But this whole data is packaged into one object and that object will be passed to the view. At the top we must write what is the final data type of the object that is coming into the view. Had you chosen strongly typed there that tick marked, then the only thing that would have had happened is that this line would have been added for you. That is the only thing. It's up to you whether you allow that to do it for you or you type it yourself. But personally, I always like to type it myself so that I know what I'm doing. Sometimes I wrongly click on a list that appears there. So those mistakes do occur. Anyhow, coming here. Now, how do I, let me, let me uh, uh, briefly create a HTML for this DL DT DD. These are just HTML tags that I'm creating. In the first DT, I'm writing this name as English and roll number as, these are basically headings that, now data has to come here. How do we access the object that is coming here? The object is CSD. All objects that come into a view, they get a common name which is called capital M model. This capital M model is not same as this one. This is small model, this is capital model. So another thing about the razor. Whenever HTML whenever HTML stops and C sharp starts you should use add the rate there. Because model, capital model is a C sharp reference. So if by going by this rule, I want to write C sharp model, but IntelliSense won't pick, this will be treated as some English model, like anything. But if I want, I, I'm not going to start with add the rate. This says that at this point my C sharp starts. The ending is controlled automatically by the compiler because it deduces from these angle brackets that now HTML is starting and C sharp is ending. You don't have to mark the end point of C sharp. Only start. Start is marked by writing at the rate. You're telling that my C sharp starts here. At the rate model dot. Look IntelliSense. You wrote at the top that C student data is coming and at the rate model is a reference to that. And if I put a dot here, I can put at the rate model name, at the rate model dot roll number, format it. Now if I run this project, it will display this data that I passed to this page, something like PHP. Run it. So this is our data as it appears. This formatting is your DD, DT, those tags. 
So this is the data item called Hoven and this is the roll number that is appearing here. So this is our first brush with passing data to an MVC application. You can write an exercise, create a C doctor object For name and qualification, create a single doctor and pass it to a view and display it. You should try this exercise. We'll close it right now. Thanks.